In this video, we'll take a look at how to work with Pitcher and the various ways of manipulating its pitch correction. In a nutshell, Pitcher will analyze the incoming audio to determine the note pitches of a monophonic source, then retune this input to any desired pitch. Again, there are various ways to determine the final pitch. If I simply turn on Pitcher with its default settings and play an audio file, Pitcher will not know what I want to do with the notes that are out of key. So it will move all notes to the nearest semitone. Can we all get along? There are also a few settings that also assist pitcher in being able to detect the pitch of a note, and so avoid detection errors. The minimum frequency setting determines which frequencies should be ignored by pitcher. If you are working with mostly vocals, for example, then an unwanted low frequency noise can fool the detector and make in mistakes. Setting the minimum frequency setting to a mid or higher frequency will avoid this problem. A setting of 110 Hz or higher works well for most male vocals, and 170 Hz or higher for females. Can we all get along? Now, if you were working with a vocal recording where the singer is close to hitting every note but not dead on, then this default setting may be all you need to nudge the notes into perfect pitch. But if you are not as lucky and are working with a vocal line that needs more detailed pitch correction, then Pitcher has you covered. Using the pre-selected scales is the easiest way to work with pitch correction. If you know the scale of the song, then simply assign Pitcher a scale and all pitch correction will shift the incoming notes to the closest note within that scale. There are two ways to determine the scale. The first is to select from a list and the second is to enter it manually. If you are like me, then selecting it from a list would be the easiest solution. To do this, select from the scale menu the type of scale that is being used by your song. Can we all get along? Next, you'll need to select a key for the scale. This is done from the key drop-down menu. Can we all get along? You'll also notice which notes pitcher will use when applying pitch correction, as indicated by the lit notes between the input pitch and the output pitch. Can we all get along? If you are looking for something more specific in terms of pitch correction, then you can manually select which notes you want pitcher to use by clicking on the desired notes to enable or disable them. For example, if I'm to select only one note, then all output notes will be this pitch. This also moves notes a long way from the original pitch. In this case, it's a good idea to turn on formant correction so that they may sound more natural. Formant correction tries to preserve the tonal character of the original note. When pitcher analyzes the audio, it uses a reference frequency to determine the pitch of the incoming audio, much as a guitar tuner would do. By default, Pitcher uses A3, which is 440 Hz, again, like a guitar tuner. In most cases, A3 will be a suitable reference. However, you can change it if needed to assist in the pitch detection process. So in this video, we looked at some of the tuning controls in Pitcher by using both predetermined scales and key, or by manually entering the desired notes for pitch correction. In the next video, we'll dive a little further into pitch correction and how to fine tune